All right, we're getting our project today. It's going to be changing four tires on this Harbor Freight tire changer. It's a manual tire changer. I've got a couple of these tire irons too I'm going to use in the process. So these are uh, truck tires. They're LTs. Here's the size 245, 75, 16. Going on my old farm truck, Silverado farm truck. These are, this one is a passenger, pretty heavy tire for a passenger. This one, I got these cheap, I think it was about $100 for four tires. This one's LT, I think the rest of these are LTs. Well, they got pretty good tread on them. We'll take a look at the tread on the farm truck. It's about bald, just about every tire on is bald, so. It's going to be a big upgrade for the old farm truck. All right, here we go. Hold the air out of this one. I do have some new valve stems here somewhere. Okay, I see a lot of people having trouble with this manual tire changer from Harbor Freight Tools with the bead breaker. They're struggling, struggling, trying to get the bead to break. There's a few little secrets. One of them is, see that nub down there? Have that up on the rim, touching the rim, so you're not pushing on the tire and take, that's taking all the force and flexing a lot. So have that nub on there. And then I'll show you the rest right here. And I'll take a little vegetable oil and get it down in there into the groove. All right, and then take the bar try to get your down below the lip there try to get that shoved down in there and push on a few times if it moves a little bit the real secret is don't just push in one spot that's I've seen a bunch of people trying to get a bead to break and they're just pushing one spot one spot only so move your tire around. The back bead is hard to break. See how it budged a little bit? Okay. So turn it a little bit more. Get it right next to it there. See that? Broke right free. So that's the secret. Don't just hit it in one spot. Push on a little bit, move it, push on a little bit, move it, push on a little bit, move it. Everybody says the back bead is the hardest one. You can see that was real easy. Broke free. All right, next I'm gonna, I got the beads broke. So I'm just gonna take a little of that Murphy's Oil Soap. I'm gonna spread it on the bead inside here. Just go all the way around with the brush. You can also, you can also get the wheel, underside of the wheel here. That's going to help you out. I'm going to see if I can... So I got clamped down. I'm just going to see if I can get it this way here. With this tire. Need better. What I'm probably going to do is take my other tire. It's possible to take it and spin it around. But uh, you end up catching on the wheels. So when you uh, when you do this, you got to make sure the lip on the opposite side, like over here, is below that hump. So right here, see how the bead is below this hump? It'll make it a whole lot easier to get the tire off. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try. Coming. It's coming. I could have helped by putting a little lube on here too. There it is. There's one bead off. Actually, you want to lift it up like that. Get your tire iron down in there. Uh, the other bead down there. Just kind of lift it up. So, 
So this side of the tire will be down in the lowest spot of the wheel. And then that, that side there, I'm gonna come around, do that again on this side. Try it some more. I didn't, un I didn't lube the underside of that beam, so we're gonna do that like I did here. So I'll put that lube on there. I'm gonna do that on the bottom side. It just makes it a whole lot easier to slide your your uh, tire iron around. So, when you set this up, just kind of tilt your tire. See that bead right there? Get your, uh, put your tire iron on that. Then lift it up. There you go. Actually, I'm going go on this side here. And kind of take this hand here, lift on the tire as you're turning it. I wish I had a longer bar. It'd be easier to do with one hand. Or you can use your knee. So you gotta lift as you're doing it. Because uh, a bead will pop back on otherwise. There we go. There we go. There it is. Tires off, and we'll get our new one. All right, the easiest way to take your old valve stem out, I take a vice grips on there. You can take uh, something like this, and you can cut a uh, yeah, cut the valve stem, or you can take a pocket knife and just cut that part off. And there you go, it comes right out. That's the easiest way to get the old one out. All right, next I'm gonna clean up the wheel. So clean some of this corrosion and uh, old bead seal off of there. I got a wire wheel on a drill. I'm gonna do this. Uh, definitely wear some safety glasses. It's these little wires, they like to come flying out of there. All right, to uh, clean out the hole, where your valve stem goes, you can use a battery terminal cleaner. You can just get in there, that wire brush in there, and get it underneath. Clean any uh, dirt debris out of there. All right, so make sure your your bead is nice and clean. You can take a rag with some solvent, like a uh, lacquer thinner or something, to uh, clean the bead, and take your lubricant. And spread it on the bead. Both beads on the back side of here, front side, and then you know, same with your wheel. Loop that both beads. To get your tire on there, you wanna put your tire on like this here. Kind of angle it. Zoom out a little bit here. So angle it a little bit and go ahead and do like a twist ahead and twist it. That will get this bead on there as far as you can get it. And then you're going to take your tire iron. And you're going to work it. You might need two tire irons even. You're going to pull the bead on like so. Okay, so to get that next bead on, I put a vice grips there. Just to kind of hold that bead, keep from skipping back up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the tire. This might be 
much as I can, see how it's going on there. Okay. I keep this bead on this side below that lip. I have a little more lube on there, it might pop on. So I'm gonna do, just get my turn in here. Kind of work it a little bit. But the, the little bias grip help you out. Make sure this side is down low under that lip here. There it goes. Let it a little bit just hang in there. See if I can push it on. Brush it away. There it goes. But that'll be your friend right there to hold that from turning on you. Okay, to get the bead on, I push down on the tire to get that bottom bead to kind of stick and then gently lift. And while someone else is putting air in, like she's putting air in now. So we're seating the bead right now. I'm just feeling it. About ready to pop. There it goes. There we go. 